After a long day, I like to wind down with a simulation game, whether it be Roller Coaster Tycoon, The Sims, or the new one I just got done playing, Meg Aquarium. But is this one truly the catch of the day, or does this one flounder a bit too much? Meg Aquarium is a simulation game where you're taking the role of an aquarium owner and your goal is to, of course, create the best aquarium possible. The game includes two modes, a campaign mode and the sandbox mode. In the campaign mode, it's broken up into 10 main missions. A lot of these missions work as kind of extended tutorials. The campaign itself isn't particularly long, but I honestly do recommend definitely checking it out first before jumping into the sandbox as it'll greatly help you get ahead in the game. Unlike some simulation games, this one doesn't focus too heavy on the economic portion of the simulation. Micromanaging the business side of things doesn't seem to be as important as just making sure you have a good variety of fish and that your customers or people coming in are at least happy. During the campaign mode, you have strict objectives that you're trying to complete in order to advance to that next campaign, and even after you finish all of them on a map, you can continue playing on it at your leisure if you like to do so. When it comes to the fish portion though, there is a large amount of real world fish that you're able to add to your various tanks, and these not only include your typical fish, but sharks, eels, and even hermit crabs. Each one of these fine sea creatures do require different setups for their tanks, whether it's certain amount of heat, or hiding places, or grass being included in the more fish, and more different fish, the more potential problems that you have. The game isn't very punishing if you make a mistake as far as setting up your tanks. Even if you have fish that aren't happy, you do have a little bit of time to correct things before they end up croaking, and it's usually simple stuff like adding grass to make them happy or making sure that there is enough heat. Once you correct whatever the issue is, though, the fish are instantly happy, you're not getting penalized, and nothing really seemingly gets overwhelming to the point that I had to completely restart any of the maps. While you're playing, if you're unsure if a fish will work out in a tank, thankfully it does warn you, saying, hey, this doesn't have enough heat, or this fish will end up eating the others if you place it in this tank, so you may want to be careful. There are a few other objects to deal with outside of just the fish. You do have pumps, filters, and the like. You'll have to either set them up around the tank or around pumps that are then connected to the tanks. You also have vending machines and benches that you can place around to keep your patrons happy. And lastly, you do have to manage your staff. Each staff member does have potentially different stats. There's five categories for them to have stats in, and of course you can also set it up so they only work in certain areas or only do certain tasks. It's not overly complicated by any means, but at least it's a nice addition. While each one of the campaign maps starts off relatively small, you can expand it quite large with a lot of tanks and a lot of things going on. Once you build up the map really big, it can be a little bit hard to kind of navigate and make sure that everything is going in order, switching between things, and even the menu in general is a bit clunky. They did their best trying to convert this over from PC, and it's okay, but it's not the strongest of this type of game on the PS4. From the technical side of things, I ran into no problem as far as glitching, slowdown, or crashing of any type. Even with pretty large maps, the game was running pretty well. Mega Aquarium is available on the PlayStation 4 for $24.99. It does feature a Platinum Trophy. The game is also available on the Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PC. Overall, Mega Aquarium is a fun little simulation game that doesn't have a ton of meaty features that some may be seeking in a business sim game, but what ends up being here is a fun casual simulation experience that's pretty accessible and works well on console. With everything said, I'm going to be giving Mega Aquarium on the PlayStation 4 a 7 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review though. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.